Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Long Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I'm your host Dragon. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new around here, thank you so much for being here. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, drop a comment down below, and let's get into today's topic, the state of the game. The state of the game, I believe, once again, we are at the beginning of another month, and we have a beautiful road ahead coming to us. Let's talk about the game in the state that it is currently in, and and I believe the state of the game is quite good. As you know, or you may have seen, we do have, you know, we are testing battlegrounds right now on the test server. Everything we show is subject to change. I have not been able to get into battlegrounds yet uh, due to my schedule and busyness with uh, work and family. However, it does look pretty awesome. And so I am super stoked and super excited about uh, what is coming if you have not checked out the FAQs for battlegrounds I suggest that you do that I have them listed on my discord server you can find them uh, the entire Q&A is here let's go ahead and just bump over here it is on my server just got to scroll up to 421 and the entire FAQ is here if you guys are interested in me uh, go ahead and, you know and reading this whole thing to you and that sort of stuff I'm more than happy to make a video on that just give you know drop a like drop a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to do that but battlegrounds does look like it's going to be a lot of fun and battlegrounds is not this world champions mode that is over here to the right um, so that is really really interesting and so I am super super excited we're gonna have a lot a lot of content coming to this game now let's flip back over and we're in my main account here and I want to talk about some, you know the new battle pass right we have um, as you can see, we have Count Delman here. He is a very interesting character. Part of this review is I want to go ahead and review this character um, and kind of go back just a little bit and look at the other characters that are also that came out in the last month's battle pass. This character here, Zara meta defining really was able to counter soleus great absolutely great character dominated and helped dominate the meta even at five stars um certainly fast does a lot of does a lot of damage really really good character uh really changed up the meta and then you have of course you know uh you know the more doom coming to the game which has really changed up arena as you can see here you're seeing a lot of slinger more doom uh variants right so slinger in the beginning uh kara as well uh more doom you know shadar and that sort of thing so really really interesting the meta is certainly changed what we're going to see here is you see this mage meta that we've had for a long time a lot of people have just thrown in uh, more doom and you're going to see I'm going to just go ahead and run a battle. I like this. I really do. I think this is a good thing for the game that the meta has changed up. We have we have an ability where a lot of people can win. You, know, you can win on offense with this team against my, you know, against this the team that I'm running or you can you, and you can basically get beat on defense. And so that is a pretty good um a pretty good thing in my opinion also i like the battle passes you know we've had we've had these battle passes um i think that the first one ren uh you know right you know Ren the Unseen wasn't that great of a character. Didn't really, you know, do a whole lot. It didn't, you know, it wasn't meta defining. Ren just kind of came into the game, and the next thing we know, you know, nobody's really using her or him. I'm not sure. Uh, nobody's using the character. Uh, not really all that important. Didn't seem to change up the meta, right? But because the mages were still very dominant. And so now you see that we have a change in the meta and that change has come because of you know because Hera dominates and can dominate this particular team and she's quite good she's quite good and so I really do like that I like that we have some you know rock paper scissors sort of meta uh, and I like the fact that things are you know changing uh, and that, that I think that's a very very good step for the game we also have 
General Murdoch coming back around. So this is a good thing as well with General Murdoch coming. Uh, he's going to be able, you know, we're going to be able to get him. Now, He he's a whole lot like other characters where he came to the game and really didn't do anything. He didn't make a huge splash, at least not in my opinion. He didn't make a huge splash. He didn't change the meta. He certainly, you know, made goblins viable but as you can see they fell out of the meta uh when it comes to, you know pretty well don't right away it does take a few characters to get them and goblins still don't have their healer and so that's certainly coming uh down the pike at some point or another and so as you can see, it wasn't too hard. A lot of teams are running this with an extra healer I or an extra tank. I'm not running an extra tank. That's just my personal preference, but that's what's going on there. So another thing that you want to be on the lookout for is I'm going to be posting a video tomorrow talking about, the, you know, top 10 characters currently um, in and it's not hard. Uh, it's not hard to think about what the top 10 characters are um, in this game right now. You have two really good meta defining teams. Uh, you know, you have your Soleus and you have your Freezards and that sort of stuff. So I think the top 10 characters are pretty self explanatory, but I'll give you my opinion on why they're so good and that sort of stuff. Also go over the kind of a tier list with that as well. Uh, back to, uh, you know, kind of a tier list review of these characters, why they're so good, why I think tier you know that what why i think they're so high on the tier list and you know and some honorable mentions as well so we'll talk about that too so let's talk about the battle pass for just a moment uh i think that this for the first time around on the battle pass wasn't particularly good um as a lot of people know the first time there was a lot of missions that you couldn't complete because it just didn't make a whole lot of sense but this time around they make a lot of sense you know 2000 aquamarines of at for action heroes right obtain 100 hero stones defeat 35 pride and arena those are those are really good complete 20 stages of the common events and obtain um you know slinger shards right that that's great those are all good things and then of course the daily missions are fairly straightforward and so i like that and then of course i kind of like the fact that we can't see what the missions are coming up uh i i think that's actually kind of cool uh and you know three thousand uh three thousand to go ahead and do it this season progress uh progress I don't see the point in buying it unless the character here is really, really good. Um, you're going to get these anyway if you just are patient. If the character is, you know, meta-defining like Hera was, if you bought it, you got her quicker, a lot quicker, and you were able to get her geared up. And so that's pretty nice. Uh, if we're looking at if we're looking at other things right here, you know, the market's pretty well the market. It's pretty well stayed the same. There's not really a whole lot going on there um, when you're, you know, guild arena as you can see i'm just i'm have so many of these forty-one thousand arena shards my tournament's not too bad i'm obviously working on uh Phalia still uh i'm almost got her all the way up no real re need i'm just doing that uh, she's not necessary for anything she's not once again meta defining of any sort um and so that's kind of where we're at Let's look at the events. I think this is really where the game is shining right now. Uh, like this, tre the treasury, I really enjoy this. It gives people the incentive to do you know, more, to spend their drag coins, to spend energy, right? To get daily login rewards, purchase, to even just purchase drag coins, right? Uh, you know, that's, it's, it's a good thing for the game. It makes the game healthy, um, gives people the ability to do more. These personal events, right? For example, for, you know, you can get all 330 Freezard shards if you're new to the game by really simply just buying, you know, one of the $100 packs which as you all have heard, right? I think that's a good idea for a new player. Uh, all right, a good player to do. If you're really wanting to play this game and be competitive, certainly you can play it free to play, but if you're a new player, this is a certainly a way to do it. And this character is an amazing character, certainly on the top 10 list. You have your common training times, right? That, that sort of stuff, your epic dragon hunts, right? Still, still those are pretty common we're getting a lot of runes these days and i think that's really really good um i really wish and this is one of my biggest 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 wants is more space 
four runes. There are just so many of them, and I don't have enough room for them personally. So that's one of the things that I would like to see, and I think that a lot of people would like to see more runes um, become available. Uh, obviously, speed is the you know the dominant secondary stat for runes, and it takes a lot of time and investment uh, to get them. But when you're looking at speed right you know you know make sure you use your sort so you can look at your speed and you can see some of these speed secondaries on some of these items really really important to do um you know especially like something like this a potency mod with a seven plus seven speed very very good to have so i like that i wish i could carry more than 500 1, 1500 would be certainly nice uh I, but that's currently not in the cards i i would like to see that i would like to see that very much um, I, I, I think it's really, really good, uh, that they added, uh, that they have, you know, been adding these extra things to the game. I think Battlegrounds is going to be really, really interesting and I'm liking the events. The tournaments are still the same. I like the tournaments. Uh, I've always liked tournaments. I know a lot of the comments have said, well, of course you do because you've wailed in the game. Sure. But I do find that tournaments are very, very effective. And so that is essentially where I think the state of the game is. I'm really excited. This game is the developers have done such a good job of making the game better as they progress. Um, I've been playing this game now. If we look at the achievements for 198 days, almost 200 days. Um, I didn't play right at the beginning, but the game just keeps getting better and better and more fun and things are changing. So. I like that. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I'd encourage you if you're new to this game or if you if you're interested in it, get into it. It's a lot of fun. I'm really liking it. I think that uh, you're going to like it, too. If you have any comments for me, please drop them down in the comments section. Feel free to share this video, like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Wing Gaming and the Law Intersect.